Okay, I really, uh, fought my Undertale, uh, Undine runs for the day, but I can probably make some progress in here now that I know not to go. Nowhere not to go. There we go. Hey, cities. Those look interesting. Morn Graveyard. Wind City. Let's check the city. Oh. Um. Do I even appear here? Oh, no. Okay. Let's check the city. It's a bird! Birds everywhere! This thing. This place is abandoned. Oh no, it's not abandoned. Hello. Will it be? Oh, just general shop. Let's see what they got. Uh, nothing too interesting. But hold on, I still have all my items, don't I? Okay, good. All right, shop. Hey, use this. Do you know, Bowman? You find all of the holy guys in the cathedral. <laughs> Bowman and the guard are a noble breed. The people of this city listen too much to their president to do them. Their trust in petty politicians will be the undoing of a hundred years of peace. Okay. Why did you retrofit the old buildings instead of just building new ones? Too much history with this facility. President Dugan will probably try and change all that. He's already tried to dissolve the whole guard. My name is Mara. This is Grub and Rummage. Nice to meet you. I'm Kathy. Hello, Kathy on the street. <laughs> I could totally pay, pull off a runner cosplay. Like, totally. Don't know why I just thought that. Bam. Who's this guy? What are you selling? Can I interest you in anything? Uh, swords. Okay. No one here uses swords. But it does look like I have another room, another spot for another party member. So, I'm betting I'll probably pick up someone in this city. Oh, okay. Back door. Hello. Oh, I know it. How big is this kingdom anyway? Kingdom? We're a corporate city-state with a profit by the workers for the workers. Well, that's what President <laughs> Dugan says. <laughs> yes, that's what they always say. Yeah, it's a computer I use to keep track of my work. It's on the fritz. I wish you were Ah, you need the new OS upgrade. Do not upgrade to Windows 10. Whatever you do. No. Here, have some tears. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Where can we find Bo We'll find him in the cathedral. Yeah, stay away from him. He's trouble. Oh, why, thank you. Oh, he's just trouble. Like, what kind of trouble? Oh, well, you know, just, you know, trouble. Where'd that lady go? Aha! Come here, short lady. What's the city's main trait? I don't see any junk guilds. Junk guilds? No, we ship water ice and Hellgat driven ships to shells where it's scarce. The stonework in this city is amazing. Yes, but it doesn't keep enough of the cold out during the winter. These days we pipe in heat and power. Ruff, ruff, ruff. What's the city's main trait? 
Okay. President Dugan's the guy, this uh, Bowman is not. Got it. Which means it's probably that guy that's going to be joining the party. Let's see what this is. This looks cathedralish. Uh oh, receptionist. Welcome to Wind City's Capitol Building. Can I help you? <laughs> Who's in charge here? Our newly elected president, Do You have an appointment? Uh, no, I guess. What kind of communication lines are all over the city? State of the art data transfer lines. They avoid the unreliability of airwave communication. Unreliability. Energy from the core makes it hard to send transmissions further than a few miles. All right, that pop-up wasn't expected, but it's probably going to show up, so I'm going to cut it right here to make it easy to find. All right, stupid thing. Yeah. Someone responded. Okay, back to this. Oh, hold on. Got to make sure I'm recording the right screen here. Yes, this one is all broken. I need a much bigger wrench to fix that. Now this is kind of a spoiler because I've uh, seen the box art, but there is a character that has a giant wrench. I wonder what we're going to do. Looks. The natural elements can be used for the benefit of mankind. The Chosen have taken this way of life to the extreme with bioengineered ships and armor as far superior to that of the lower shells. But as strange as they may seem to us, even stranger are the tales surrounding the blood of the undead. Ooh, sweet. Long rumored to be the deadly to be deadly to the living, some have recently found uses for the this so foul chemical, using its strong corrosive properties as an acid. Press escape to exit. Okay. Oh, I see. Uh, this definitely looks neat. There's an iron collar bolting it to the table. Hmm. Uh. The curse of Drax. Long ago, legend tells us of the ancient necromancer Drax. Lustful of the immortality of the Seraphim, he furtively studied the arts of the undead. It is Drax's curse that even today darkens the graveyards and pollutes the land. Even the ancient catacombs of the Wind City, which once stretched from Morn Graveyard all the way to the Cathedral of the Seven Winds itself, were sealed to hold back the forces of the dead. Hello. Hey. Hello. <laughs> what are they talking about? Okay. Oh, Jesus! Books everywhere. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm not gonna read this one. 
Horrible accident. Family sitting down to supper. Uh, doo -doo. Fell down the well. Crops still grow at the farm. All right. Lassie was not available. I like how I can read the book from all the way from over here. Helgak, dormant animal species. What? Dominant. Okay. Uh, any looking creature with a calciate or bony exoskeleton is considered to be one of the Helgate. Helgak family. Okay. Mutations from a period before Marduk's age. Uh, wolves, thunder lions, humans. Okay, that's probably what I fought in the forest. The uh, Helgak, which is probably why I couldn't beat them. Many, however, still consider biology the Helgak. Yeah, and our means of creation. Do do do. All right. Much is explained. Okay. Those are both Book of Elgak 1. Oh, oh, er. Er, jeez. Wow, lots of reading. Uh, every 100 years, trails of the Seraphim allow enough light to reach the core. Conjunction. Okay. Unexplainable result of the conjunction is the affect on the creatures of Septera. One of the oddest examples is the Kali crabs of Shell 3. Every 100 years during the conjunction, these deep lake dwellers leave their homes and travel to the shores of their birth, there to spawn, laying the egg for another generation. 100 year generations, that's. neat. Hey, how's it going? Okay, none of these guys talk. You can kind of barely see their face when they turn. Oh, it doesn't have any gods. Three-headed serpent of fire, Ouroboros. Uh, feels like unity. Generates light. Wait. Near the core of the world there is a cave, a temple, a temple to Ouroboros. And I take it we're probably going to end up down at the core at some point and probably have to fight Ouroboros. Uh, or Ouroboros, or however the hell you want to pronounce that. Ancient, oh, more reading. Oh, come on, lawgiver. Yeah, screw this one. Urgh. Good useful info. Damn it. <sighs> Demigod. Hmm. Doo -doo. Enter the material world. Retrieving the core keys. Raising an army of men. Party discovered the location of Gamma's hidden fortress and began his assault. Uh, core creature demon. Uh, triumphant Marduk. To this day, the guard of Twin City carry on Marduk's daemon force technique, wielding mastery over the use of dimensional gates. Hmm, that's neat. Er. Yeah, I don't need that. Nope. Oh, fine. Mighty bird! Simmer okay, it's just telling me about different monsters we'll face. Uh, yeah, nothing too useful. Dogo! Elementals and demigods. Thanatos. Death comes eventually. Thanatos. Giver and taker of the spark of life. Okay, this guy's got a different colored robe. Let's see what he's got to say. 
This is the library of Wind City. What would you like to know? <laughs> this place is even bigger than Aziz's temple. Aziz? Hmm. I once knew a man named Aziz. Quite funny. Do you have any books on robotics? Robo. <laughs> How delightful. Actually, he's not a god. He's a robot. Uh, what? Mm, never mind. That, that would be the clockwork part, you know, there. What's up with the mo- They have taken up our silence in protest to propose dissolution of the Holy Guard. The monks have proposed a system by which the city would be run by both the guard and the presidency, with the library as a third branch to keep power balanced. But the people do not listen. Do you know a man named Bowman? A great, yet troubled man. Why? President Dugan wants to dissolve the Holy Guard, the protectors of Wind City, and rule without the checks and balances that the Guard provides. Bowman, who leads the Guard, must decide if he should force the people into the light of truth, or give in and watch their dead bodies die and their lives. Is he a Jedi? Tell me the story of the fates. During the infancy of our world, the Creator fashioned two relics of power that could be used to communicate with the core and receive his power. Many men fought over these keys, but only one succeeded in snaring them away from God. The demon Geth, who also kidnapped Kira, the angel of light, to be his bride. When his host of angels failed to defeat the demon, the Creator sent him his only begotten son to defeat the forces of darkness and left the affairs of men forever. Marduk searched for Demi's secret fortress, assembling an army of warriors from every rural shell, the army of the seven winds. But an army cannot fight what they cannot find. When all hope appeared lost, Dogo, the trickster demon, convinced Gemma that he should allow Kira to have at least one item of comfort, a mirror. To make herself beautiful for her new lord. Yet, ever greedy and lustful, agreed. Dogo created her mirror from the very stuff of the core and gave it to the captured angel. She used it to reflect her light into the heavens, creating the stars. Marduk, seeing this sign, followed the brightest to Gemma's hidden lair. After a battle that raged for a hundred days, the Son of God smote him. Marduk sent the demon's soul to the secret places of the earth. His blood became rivers, and his eyes the darkness of death. Gemma's body was thrown into the hellish pits of Jamaat, there to burn for all eternity. Afterwards, Marduk captured Gemma's demon spawn and imprisoned them within other dimensions, to be called on by his followers alone. Then he created the temple city of Babylon and ruled with Kira for many years, hiding the keys until mankind would need the gift that lies in the core. Ah, the kingdom of... Yes, Marduk taught us that its power would one day save the world. That is a lot of exposition. Do you know how the great spine works? Yes, I've studied it well. The spine connects all the world shells like a giant rod from the north to the south. It gathers the energy created by the rotation of the planets, which act like giant turbines. And this energy is used to power the core, and is the source of the energy that we all use to cast spells and power our machinery. Okay, third law of thermodynamics aside. Do you know of Marduk? Wind City was founded by his followers. His followers? Yes, Marduk raised the seven wings of Septera, seven armies, one of each world shell, and led them against Gemma and his dark legions. Marduk slew the Dark One and captured his demon minions to be called only by Marduk's followers. Our holy guard of the seven wings carry on Marduk's teachings. Okay.
I read all these? Yeah, I read all these. Oh, one more. Uh, Kira, Angel of Light. Okay, she's the Angel of Light. I got it. Oh, uh, no. Nope. Enough exposition. Okay, so now we have a better idea of what's going on. I hope. Basically, it's, you know, Jesus comes down, defeats the devil, and yeah, stuff. Uh, again, I gotta turn that off. Anyway, this is a good spot to end it, so till next time, later.